just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Please give me a sign if you wanna come Comic Army, I'm the Comic Vet. Welcome back to another edition of Two Cool Guys, Two Hot Picks. Uh, I'm going to throw it over to my friend Mark from Legion of Comics to introduce you to his pick for this upcoming new comic book day, February 10th, 2021. What is going on, Comic Army? I'm Mark from the Legion of Comics on YouTube, here today to tell you what my hot pick is for February 10th, 2021. This wasn't exactly an easy choice for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming, but I ended up settling on Future State Teen Titans issue number two. After that first issue being so jam packed with content and us getting the first appearance of Red X in DC Comics, coming from the Titans animated TV show to the comics was really cool. And they kind of just teased him in that first issue and that kind of a cameo appearance at the end. So I'm excited to see him mask up and join the surviving Titans members in the fight against the evil that was released by the former student in the previous issue. This seems to be a content heavy book. And we saw from the Flash title that ended this past week that it leads straight into the Teen Titans storyline, as well as the Shazam title is Fallout from the story. So this seems to be the focal point of a much bigger story. So I'm excited to see how it plays into everything. And I feel like all that story is going to really unfold in this issue. So not just from the reading aspect of it, but there is potential spec in this book. That last issue was the technical first appearance of the Red X, but it seems like they kind of cameoed him. So who knows how it'll play out. The market will decide if that last issue will be considered a first cameo and this the first full appearance. So we really won't know until it plays out. But for $3.99 a cover buy, it's really worth the gamble. Now check out the cover B for this issue as well as we get this awesome Red X cover. So there's some really cool covers to choose from. Amazing story content in here. And again, it's jam packed. So if you're a fan of the Titans TV show, you'll definitely want to check this out. Even if you're not too familiar with it, the story does a good job telling uh, telling that tale from Titans inside the book. So I'm, I'm really excited for this one. It's been really good so far. I'm excited to see how it connects to those other stories, which I've really enjoyed. And I'm also excited to see how it'll play out down the road when the market decides. So Teen Titans number two from DC Comics. Check it out. Don't miss out. And let's take it back to Chris, the comic vet. a solid pick he's got there nothing wrong with the future state teen titans run that's been happening actually i've been quietly impressed with everything dc's been doing with the future state line up to this point let's get into my pick for this upcoming new comic book day my pick is a little bit of a throwback to my youth when i started reading comic books in the very early 1980s uh, i was introduced to books like Archie and Richie Rich and all those kitty kind of books and after a little bit of time I decided to graduate into something that was more suited to where I was at that point in my life. Uh, I started reading uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Uncanny X-Men and the other title that I collected monthly faithfully was Marvel's First Family, The Fantastic Four and that leads me to my pick, to, my pick for New Comic Book Day. My pick is the Fantastic Four, issue number 29. It's a King in Black tie-in, and it's $3.99, and the writer is Dan Slott. Love, her, love him or hate him, he's actually been doing a really good job with the Fantastic Four lately. Uh, the interior artist is, I hope I pronounce this correctly, Z. Carlos. The cover artist for this primary cover is Mark Brooks, and the variant cover is, I hope I pronounce this correctly as well, Emanuela Lapacciano. Lapacci, Lapacciano? I'm gonna throw her name right here. That's who the cover artist is. Uh, this particular issue, back to this fire cover done by Mark, Mark Brooks, by the way, uh, where you can see the human torch is getting himself into trouble. Uh, it's called Bonding Time. 
in the middle of the chaos that is the King in Black saga, a symbiote bonds with one of Marvel's first family members. If you've been reading the King in Black, you can pretty much guess who's about to be receiving that symbiote. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, also in this issue, you have the Unseen putting together a squadron for a space, a space mission in deep space. You may There may be potential for new characters being introduced for this uh, particular issue, Fantastic Four number 29. Make sure that you pick it up just for this fire cover alone and the fact that it's a King in Black tie-in and we may have a potential new character and we'll see what happens with that symbiote that bonds with one of Marvel's first family members. There you have a comic army. These are our two picks for this upcoming week. And uh, if you want to consider them, let us know. And uh, until then, I am the Comic Vet, Comic Army, and remember, we are Legion.